Hello there and welcome to our second video of this part looking at the practical programming paper. In this video we're going to look at question number two and this is an eight mark question that says iZone will need to consider different user interfaces that can be provided by the operating system for its staff to use. iZone is concerned that its staff are non-specialist users Describe two different user interfaces iZone could provide for its staff and explain why the different user interfaces are suitable for iZone staff by providing an advantage and a disadvantage for each. And it's worth a total of eight marks. Now, the first thing I would point out about this question is the fact that iZone is mentioned on numerous occasions and it's in bold. We know that iZone is our scenario, so we need to relate this question back to the scenario as much as possible. The second thing to point out is that iZone has staff who are non-specialist users. So what do we need to do for eight marks? I'd break it down as follows. So describe two different user interfaces. So what user interfaces do we actually have and what do our operating systems actually use? Well, the first thing that I would talk about is graphic user interfaces and that will get you one mark. The other is command line interfaces or CLIs and that will get you one mark also. Now for our second mark I would take the graphic user interface and I would describe why this is suitable or not. Why it's suitable or not for our users. I would then state um, and I would give an example of an advantage and disadvantage for each. And that's how I would assume that the eight marks are broken up. Split them two down the middle and I'll then I'll start with graphic user interfaces. So I would say that the ISO and the company could use a graphic user interface or a graphical user interface. Now, a GUI is a type of interface that allows staff to interact with a computer system through graphical icons. So in my description, I'd make reference to graphical icons. Now, the advantage to that, using graphical icons, is that it is intuitive. In addition to that, it's easy to navigate. It allows the user very little training or no training at all and it allows them to use trial and error to actually try and interact with the system. And think about this. Windows are famous for their standard layout throughout all of their operating systems. That means that people are familiar with new systems because of previous systems not changing very much. So you kind of continue onwards and you're kind of used to what's already there. There's no need to be proficient in clicking really, it's just you get on, you see the graphics, you click and navigate and try to use it as much as possible. But the disadvantage to, to graphic user interfaces is that the, the operating system itself and the interface would require a large amount of memory. And that's simply down to displaying the graphics itself. And in addition to that then, there's a knock on effect there that it is processor intensive and if the memory is an impact that's going to take up obviously more secondary storage and more RAM in order to use the operating system or the interface that you're, you're trying to employ here for iZone. Now on the flip side of that iZone could use a command line interface if they really wanted to and the difference here is that the command line is an entirely text-based system and all the commands are typed in. Now in there, if the question is actually accurate, then the problem with that is you are dealing with non-specialist users and typing in commands means that your staff have to be trained and learn those commands. However, with the advantage here, it is actually quicker to type commands. And when we type in commands, Shortcut keys can be used. And it requires very little memory in order to run. Now, if we look at the disadvantages here, 
um, it can be confusing for staff. And that could be it's confusing for people that have never used command line interfaces before. And commands have to be typed precisely. Otherwise, they just won't work. And that can be frustrating for people that are non-specialists again. In order to use this system effectively, you potentially have a large number of commands that need to be learnt. And that might not be suitable for what you need when it comes down to ice zone. So remember, eight marks there, graphic user interface, command line interface are the two interfaces that we need to talk about. Give a description for each. GUIs use graphic icons, CLIs use text-based and command systems. Advantage for GUI, it's very intuitive and easy to navigate. Little training is actually needed. The advantages for CLIs is that it's quicker to type commands. Shortcut keys can be used and it requires very little memory to run and to be processed. Disadvantage to GUIs, large amount of memory um, is used to display the graphics and it's very processor intensive and it takes up a lot of storage on your memory devices. Whereas the CLI's disadvantages are the fact that it's confusing for staff if they've never used it before and that commands have to be typed precisely. Also, there's a large element for training if because we have a large number of commands that need to be learned in order to effectively use the system for ice zone. And that should get us our eight marks.